Nebraska, Oklahoma is must-see TV. Let's preview Sooners Huskers. I am a sucker for the storyline, and this matchup tells all kinds of stories. The first one we're going to tell, it brings us back to 1990, November of 1990 to be specific. Mickey Joseph is the quarterback for the University of Nebraska, playing Oklahoma in a Big 8 showdown. Mickey Joseph takes the ball, runs to the outside, steps out of bounds, get hit late, flag comes out, boom, breaks his leg, never plays football again. His first game as interim head coach is this week for, who you guessed it, the University of Nebraska. Who are they playing? You guessed it, the University of Oklahoma. Casey Thompson has had relatives that have played for Oklahoma. Casey Thompson was shredding Oklahoma in that Red River rivalry game last year before he kind of bummed up his hand a little bit. This game has stories all across the board, and not to mention, it's just a renewal, a renewal of a classic Nebraska-Oklahoma rivalry, which would be enough. You add all this other stuff on top of it, and that's why this game is must-see TV. Okay. I don't think Nebraska, just because they got a new head coach, just because they got rid of Scott Frost, I don't think Nebraska is all of a sudden going to be really good at tackling in open space. Just because you start tackling in practice this week, will they be better? Maybe. But I don't think all of a sudden this defense is going to be a really good defense. That's the first thing that I want to point out. But I also want to point out Nebraska's a wild card. All right. All bets are off. Uh, this is a very unpredictable game, in my opinion. Mark Whipple does not have Scott Frost looking over his shoulder right now. And that may have happened in some games. Who knows? There's been some rumors maybe Scott Frost took over play calling in some of those games. The North Dakota game, to be specific. So we're going to see a 100% true Mark Whipple play calling extravaganza on Saturday. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I think it's a good thing but that um, remains to be seen. The defense is going to be a big issue because Oklahoma appears to be humming on offense. Jeff Levy is a great coordinator, one of the best offensive coordinators in the entire country. Dylan Gabriel was a great transfer pickup this season. He's slinging, he's accurate, he's comfortable back there in that pocket. Nebraska, how are you going to slow down Marvin Mims? He was the leading receiver the last two seasons for Oklahoma. He's back at where it seems like everybody else seem to leave um, after Lincoln Riley left on that offense. Marvin Mims is still there. And man, when I look at the tape of Georgia Southern, gaping holes through the middle of the defense, you got to find a way to close that up because Marvin Mims averaging 22 yards per catch, he's going to make big plays. If you continue to look like that on defense for Nebraska, he will shred you up. I guarantee you, if Nebraska looks like that against Georgia Southern, he'll go for at least 150. I guarantee it. This could be a good old-fashioned Big 12 shootout, but I'm not sure if it will be because this Nebraska offensive line, when they match up against this Oklahoma defensive line, that seems to be pretty good, that seems to be able to get pressure, uh, I'm not so sure. I've got a lot of confidence if this Nebraska offensive line can give Casey Thompson some time or if Casey Thompson can get rid of the football quickly, I think Casey can have a good day. He proved it one year ago when he shredded, absolutely shredded him up in that great Red River rivalry game when he was a quarterback at the University of Texas. I think Nebraska can push the ball down the field against Oklahoma. Like I said, it's going to depend on the protection. Can the Nebraska offensive line hold off the Oklahoma pass rushers for long enough for something to happen? Here's some key stats that I think could uh, determine what happens in this game. Nebraska is converting 60% on third downs. That's going to be big in this matchup. If this is a close game down the stretch, third down is going to be big, and they've been pretty good on third down. Oklahoma, a goose egg in the turnover department. They have yet to turn the football over this season, but this is the first big-time test for the University of Oklahoma. I think they're almost a wild card, too. Right? They haven't really played much of anybody. Much of anybody. A lot of new guys on the system. First big test. How will they react? New coaching staff. How will they react? Because I don't think you're going to have a cakewalk like you have had in the first couple of games. I think this Nebraska team will challenge Oklahoma in some phases. 
how as a first time coaching staff and some of these players first time in this type of situation, how are they going to react um, as this game goes along? I think that's the big question that you have to ask right now. I am looking forward to this one. Like I said in the beginning, wild, I think there's wild cards on both teams. For those people that are in the prediction business, good luck because I have no idea where to go. Nebraska, I think, will be very motivated. Um, but th here's the thing. I don't know if there'll be a different team. How all of a sudden you get rid of one guy. I get he's the head coach. I get, you know, he's been a problem. But you get a rid of one guy and all of a sudden you can change your team in six days? I just don't see that. But who knows? They come out with a vengeance, uh, force an early turnover right away, and who knows? This game, anything could happen. That's why this is must-see television. Anything could happen between the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the Oklahoma Sooners. There's some things working for the Huskers. There's some things working for the Sooners. How do you think this one is going to go down between Oklahoma and Nebraska? Oh boy, this could be the last one we see in a very long time between these two. Uh, so soak it in. Soak it in. What do you think? Leave your thoughts, predictions in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to Big Ten Ted. Can you tell I'm pumped? I'm Big Ten Ted, and we will see you in the next one.